Hey, what's up? Lee Ron here. In today's video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of a couple of paintings I did in the last two weeks or so. Um, I want to show you a couple of interesting things. First, a bit of a different subject selection because these are paintings I mostly painted for myself. I have shared them on other platforms, but not here on YouTube, the vast majority of them. And also mistakes. So with this one, you'll see how I improved it. This is the improved version. So I want to show you how I make mistakes too, that you can always learn from them and move forward and just trust in yourself that you will make some kind of a progress. There's also a strong emphasis on loving your paintings, which is really, really important, finding something to love about them. So I hope you're gonna enjoy this one and let's get to it. Okay, so let's get started with this portrait. Now, this is interesting because I wanna show you something. I know a lot of people are frustrated by not getting portraits right and maybe feeling a little frustrated that don't get the likeness or the character to look the way they plan to. Um, and I wanna show you this because this was my initial attempt and ignore all the notes around it. And it was really bad and I hated it. I did this kind of a la prima approach and it did not work at all. Tried fixing the nose, it didn't work. And then I was gonna give up and then I said, okay, let's set this one aside and redo another one. And for this one, you can actually see I used the grid to get everything a little more accurately in. And then I worked in a wet and wet way, unlike this one where it was wet on dry and I kind of hoped for it to work. Here I was much more calculated and it actually ended up working. So I'm showing you this to show you that I too fail in these things and don't take it too hard and just try and see what you can improve for the next time. Trust me, you will get it after a few attempts, after practicing a technique or improving something. And what really bugged me here is that I wasn't able to get all the symmetry and things looking good. Um, but with this one, I was able to correct it and everything is on point. Uh, of course, there are some minor inaccuracies. This shadow, for example, I don't need it to go this far, but you know, that's always a part of it. But I wanted to show you this as kind of encouragement if you mess up portraits. Yeah, that happens to me too. Just try and try again, you will get it eventually. Now again, to the best of my recollection, let me zoom out a bit. Um, so to the best of my recollection, I haven't shown you most of these, but if I have, my apologies. Uh, this is a scene from New York. Uh, painted it based on a picture I took, this uh, church or cathedral, I'm not sure what it is, but I do remember it very distinctly. I believe it's pretty close to Hamilton's, uh, what do you call the Trinity Church, I believe? So if I remember something from our walking tour, uh, that's that. Uh, strong emphasis on temperature and really getting that interest-rich uh, oranges and greens and purples and really a, a, an enjoyable painting. Notice this smooth transition here. Didn't want to take away from this uh, the shape of the tower. So what do you do? You just control the edges and blend them together completely. Um, and I did not want to create a hard edge here to compete with this. So, you know, some people would have preferred that to frame the scene, but to me, that's what I wanted. Uh, this bottom section was incredibly challenging. As you know, nuances in the shadow aren't easy. Getting this car here wasn't easy. Uh, but very uh, a painting I very much enjoyed doing. Look at these strong reds and blues. Just great, great fun to do. Uh, and now here's a fun one. I, I believe I have never shown this one uh, here. Maybe on Instagram, probably on Instagram. This was a warship. And what really attracted me to this scene, to this uh, the photo I saw originally, I believe it was on Pixabay, was the uh, abstract nature of it. It is really abstract when you see all of these different shapes and... I was interested in the challenge of being able to capture that. Uh, what I did an underpainting here because there's so much going on that I wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, I don't uh, mess it up. So I wanted to create this kind of underpainting layer, skipped some highlights uh, and, and slowly build it from light to dark. It was a great challenge, used a lot of opaque paint, uh, the US flag here with a lot of opaque paint. Uh, and yeah, I'm very happy with how it turned out. I love patterns. I love when the patterns seem abstract, but when you squint your eyes or look from afar, they actually look somewhat realistic. So this was really the perfect scene for me. I uh, had a lot of good time. This is interesting too. This is actually our kitchen. So if you stand right at the entrance of the apartment, you look to the right, you see this. Uh, and, and when you paint a subject like this that is close to heart, I think it's easier to bring something extra to it, and I think I was able to. Uh, one thing about this scene in particular was the light and shadow wasn't obvious. Uh, and whenever that happens, when you don't have these strong, clear contrasts, like in this one, it's much harder to um, understand how to edit the painting, how to do things. And for this one, I do feel like I did... Oh, sorry, I'm going to move a chair here. I did quite a good of a job. Uh, still interesting temperature. You can see a, a bit of blue and orange and red for the, this really, really nice... Um, 
in the, I, I don't know if I have the reference photos, but maybe I'll try sharing some, but maybe I won't, probably I won't. Uh, but I think he's very happy with this. Uh, these scenes may demand a bit of a subtler work in the light and shadow because you don't have these strong contrasts to fall back on, uh, which is why I built this one slowly with glazes, started with the yellow and then slightly darker orange and on top of that, just taking it slowly and working section by section because it was really hard to unify everything. And you see these break points here, it's not connected. This kind of moved back, uh, got a back, back blossom, um, and, but that's fine. Uh, as long as I got the right value and temperature everywhere, that's what I was after. And look at this uh, stool. You don't need a lot of clarity here because it's really in the peripherals. And look at how beautiful it looks when you kind of let it fade to the background. I really, really like that kind of a thing. So a very close to hard cut of painting uh, for me. This one from a beautiful scene in New York. I think I took this picture from... Uh, it was some kind of a museum, though I don't remember. I don't think it was MoMA, maybe? I don't remember. Uh, but it was a beautiful place. I believe it was the southern part of Manhattan. Uh, took this picture, very foggy day. And I love this kind of a thing. These um, harbor machinery, if you will, uh, and the strong contrasts they create. To contrast that and all the details with that foggy background, something I really, really enjoyed. Um, some of these, by the way, are for uh, sale. I have this one in my gallery, lirongallery.com. Check it out. Uh, this one I really, really enjoy doing. Some kind of a, an old withering shackle uh, that I saw in a store here. Um, it was really just, you know, as a decoration, it was really cool looking. So I took a picture and one of the things I'm most proud of is the dents here. And notice how they really flow well with the shadow and highlight underneath it, which is a pattern you'll see very often. Now, another thing that was quite tricky is getting the nuance in the shapes because here you see a sharp change of direction, but here it's softer. So this hints at a shape that is round and then sharp. So sharp and round at the sides and getting that nuance isn't easy. One last note I will say that I think makes this one really good is <coughs> the strength of the red. It's very easy for me to uh, mistakenly mute it, get it to be too muted and not bright enough. And here I was really able to get that brightness with a few hints of opaque paint that is really looks like a bright red. Um, so overall, very proud of this one. A very different subject for me to work on, really not my usual stuff. Uh, which makes me love it even more. Uh, and here we have an attempted portrait of Billie Eilish. Doesn't look like her at all, I think, but it did turn out pretty cool. You can see the process, by the way, I believe on my TikTok, um, liron.yam. Uh, so check it out if you're on TikTok. Uh, it's just a fun process. Uh, very happy with how it turned out in terms of technique and color temperature and, and all of these beautiful touches of blue and red and yellow. Really, really like this. Didn't get the likeness, but again, to me, that's a win. And always try to look for those wins. You didn't get the likeness, but it still looks cool. Great. You didn't get, it doesn't look cool, but you got a nice temperature going. Great. You know, find the things to love about your work. It is really, really important. This one I did real fast. I don't remember where it is. I believe somewhere in the Caribbeans. Just a beautiful church kind of structure. Uh, maybe Havana? I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. But uh, the point here for me was to practice exaggerating the contrast. And by the way, I did this one in the same sitting I did this one. So funny enough, uh, I did. I believe I did this one first and then I moved on to this one. Um, but yeah, very, very interesting one. Look at this tree here, just blue. This is just French ultramarine, almost fresh out of the tube, just smacked on the paper. Very fun, I love the movement here. Uh, definitely could have done a, a better job. It looks a little more urban sketchy to me, which is not what I was aiming for. I was aiming for more of the uh, impressionistic kind of traditional look, but in any case, still happy with it. Great color scheme, I think. The greens and reds work really, really well. And lastly, we have this one. More illustrative approach. This is my shoe. I actually have it here. Let me grab it um, and I'll show you because it's fun seeing this together. Well, it's the other shoe. So let me get it right this time. So yeah, it was hard for me to get a turquoise that actually looks like this. Uh, so I ended up using kind of a phthalo blue, but still pretty cool. And I, again, wasn't aiming for realism here. It's more of an illustration, illustrative kind of style uh, with the splashes and all and fun. I actually painted it this way, by the way. Just took a picture, uh, I had a picture of my leg up or something like this, uh, and I just painted a shoe. Uh, so a very fun one, I think, just, just cool. And to show you something a little different, if you've been following me on Instagram and other places, you have seen some of the, uh, all of these probably, of course. 
Uh, but I know a lot of people are already uh, are only following me here on YouTube, so uh, I thought it would be cool to share these with you. Uh, and now let's wrap it up. So thank you once again for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed seeing something a little different. Uh, and also something that's a little the same. Uh, most of these, again, the vast majority of them, I did share on other platforms. So if you're not following me on Instagram or Twitter or LinkedIn or Facebook, whatever, be sure to just check it out. Maybe you'll enjoy seeing my stuff there. I thought I had something in my teeth, so I looked at myself and not on you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you you've been enjoying the more the quicker, more lighthearted videos. Just because I'm on vacation, as I mentioned, so I needed to produce a lot of them rather fast. But in any case, I really do appreciate you watching. We will probably soon go back to the more longer processes and stuff like that, but there is a little more time till then. Uh, but in any case, yeah, let me know in a comment down below your thoughts, what else you want me to, to, to show you, maybe one of these paintings you wanna better understand the technique, let me know, I'll try and do that. And with that, we'll wrap it up. Thank you so, so much, I really appreciate it. We'll see you again soon.